hello and welcome to another episode of Snack Sized Business. I'm your host, LB Adams, and we've got one show, two people, three questions, four minutes, give or take. On the Zoom today, it is my pleasure to introduce you to Sarah Castle. Sarah Castle is an executive at Amazon where she's worked for the last 14 years. Her background includes a variety of roles in mergers and acquisitions, digital devices, Amazon Alexa voice technology, digital and print books, and human resources. She's a builder and thrives in early stage environments focused on new products and technology. She has a knack for transforming teams into high-performing organizations and growing them to scale. She gets energy from developing leaders and strong succession plans. Prior to Amazon, Sarah worked for General Electric. She has a master's from Cornell University and a bachelor's from Syracuse University. Welcome to the show, Sarah Castle. Hello and welcome to Snack Size Business, Sarah Castle. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, great. Thanks for having me. All right. Are you ready to jump right into the three questions? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. Terrific. Question number one. What abilities do you bring to your work that you can't or don't necessarily put on a resume? Okay. So what I'm really good at is fixing things. And it's not really on my resume. I think I sneak it in in my bio, but I have... I don't know, a knack for going in, bringing clarity to things, figuring out like what needs to be fixed, who needs to do what job, how do you need to reorganize things? And so there was a period in my life where someone said, you're a fixer, you have to be careful not to always be a fixer. And that really stuck with me. I thought, huh, I am good at that. Why is why is that bad? But now the way I think about it is it's transformation. I'm actually really good at transforming things. Oh, I love that. That's terrific. And I think that you have to embrace your skills and your abilities. So yes, 100%. Yeah. Okay. Question number two, what does your 10 years ago self need to know right now? Okay. 10 years ago, I was making a pretty big functional change at work. I had been an HR business partner and I was moving into a business role and I've been in business roles for 10 years since. And I spent a lot of time trying I didn't want people to know what I had done before because I thought that it would discredit the work that I was starting to do. But now what I realized is the the HR, the people stuff, the organizational stuff, that's all the stuff I'm great at. And so I need to bring it forward. Yeah. And, and also like the things that you do impact the things that you will do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, it's part, I think the, the underlying message to my current self is just be, be yourself and lean into the things that you're great at. Don't try to hide them because you think people will like, might not give you as much credibility or whatever it is. Actually, you will, you'll gain credibility by being good at those things. Right. I yeah. Third that. and final question. What would the world not get if you left Earth tomorrow? Oh, this is a hard one. Well, there's the individual piece, right? About being a mom and a mentor and a wife and yes. a teacher and a business leader and that influence that I have there. Like there's, I think people would lose seeing an approachable leader who they could, they actually think they could be, right? Like there's this role modeling element that is a big part of how I lead today and that would go away but if I think about the future self I want to be I want to grow leaders I want to help women step into the careers that are best for them like finding their purpose and so I think there's there's some loss there of what I hope my future self will be doing to help grow people professionally yes I love that we I love growing people yeah, that's, that's my jam. Terrific. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, yeah. thank you so much for your time thank and you. your skills and your energy. We certainly appreciate you, Sarah. Did thank we you. make it in four minutes? <laughs> no, not even close, oh. but that's okay. <laughs>